I wanted to do a question video today and it is currently 4.25 in the freaking morning and I just did a full face of makeup. <sighs> I went on Instagram and I was like, yo, ask me some questions and I got responses. I'm gonna totally make a video about this. But in Maria fashion, I have a bottle of cheapo wine and if you're watching this with me, crack open some wine, grab a glass, pour a shot every time I say fuck. Let's do this shit. I'm gonna try to answer most of these to the best of my ability. If uh, they're a little bit too personal, like anything related to... Uh, anything... I don't know. Thank you to everybody that sent me questions. That was really nice of you. You should totally add me on Instagram if you're watching this and you're not on my Instagram. Would you ever try deer meat? Hashtag Bambi. Why the fuck did you have to hashtag Bambi? I actually want to try deer meat. I'm not a vegetarian. I, I love meat, what can I say? You know, it's my thing. I like it, so good, it's so yummy. I tried going vegetarian, it did not work out. I have friends that are vegetarian. Do I wanna be one? Will I ever be one? Probably not, maybe in the apocalypse. I did wanna go hunting. I just really wanted to go out there and like experience getting my own meat, getting my own food. I don't know if that makes sense. So to answer your question, Yes! I um, would try deer meat. What's your current favorite show? I was watching Sabrina the Teenage Witch because I watched The Adventures of Sabrina and I was like, oh, I need a binge watch on the old school Sabrina. Watching those 90s shows is just so different, so fucking funny. Assuming that you're my age, you would appreciate watching it a lot more now. As for a show that I'm currently watching, I'm not really watching anything. I do want to get into the Umbrella Academy. Someone was talking to me about that the other day and it sounded dope as fuck and then I heard that Gerard Way is the guy that like directed it or like he wrote a comic about it or whatever. That's definitely the next show that I will be binging. <laughs> Sorry Simon, my cats are sleeping next to me. There's like no way to look cute drinking that. It's just it is what it is. Do you like cats or dogs? I love all animals. If I had a big ass estate and I had just like a barn and everything, I would have all the fucking animals. Like 20 cats, 20 dogs, 10 horses, cows, chickens, ducks, all the hamsters, everything. And I would have a bunch of fucking maids to fucking clean up all their shit. Can I be your boo, winky face? You already are my boo. DTF? Question mark. Uh, yeah. How many chopsticks does China use in a year? So considering that there's a lot of people in China and that absolutely everybody probably uses chopsticks there, I feel like if you live in China, you would already have those chopsticks that like you wash in the dishwasher or do they use dishwashers in China? Or do they just like wash? That's a thing. I think that's a thing. Let's see. How many chopsticks do people use in China per year? Okay. I found this on the web for how many chopsticks do people use in China per year. China produces 80 billion disposable chopsticks per year. Oh. A lot. Next question. What's the biggest concern that environmental... <laughs> I can't speak. What's the biggest concern that environmentalists are focused on? Uh, Trump. Do you ever do that? What was the grossest thing you tolerated with your ex? Where do I start? Well, he would always fart, but he would fart in my face. <laughs> At a specific time frame, his farts really fucking annoyed me for some reason, but it's like weird because they're really just, it's natural, but like he would do it like in an annoying way. I don't know. And then other than that, there was this one instance, and will I go there? He was sleeping and he woke up and he stood next to the bed, had an air conditioner thingy next to the bed and he started fucking peeing on that shit. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Go to the fucking bathroom like are you fucking crazy? That's a shot for you, you know, if you're you. And then uh, he started screaming and shouting. He was like, I guess, sleepwalking when he did that. And um, I didn't really know. He turned around, like looking at me while he was like cursing me out. And he started fucking peeing on me. <coughs> Sorry. How do you see yourself? 
well, how do I see myself? I'm a fat little Hispanic chick with fucking blue hair and a lot of makeup. A lot of makeup. That nose contour. Oh, this one's easy. What's your favorite color? Black and blue. Have you ever tried Special K? crazy fucking story. I was like really scared to do that because I was like what like the people were talking about like getting into k-holes and stuff and I was like whoa that sounds really really scary like I don't want to die. I was just like okay and then one day someone had special k and I was like well you know what fuck it. Apparently the amount that I was given was usually not the amount usual people take and I ended up taking a uh, fuck ton it was honestly insane like i don't think i've ever experienced anything like it it was crazy very very much the epitome of a date rape drug but in the best fucking way you lose sense of yourself where you are who you are what you're made of you literally feel like you're melting into things it's insane and you really shouldn't do it if you could relive, if you could relive your life, would you? I guess it depends on once I die and I'm like, do I want to relive that life or not? I don't know. From what I know right now, not that I would relive it, but more like if I could go back in time, I would with the knowledge that I know now, but... But other than that, no. <laughs> what was your dream job as a child slash do you think your you herself would be proud of where you are now? When I was a child, my dream job was to be an actor and a veterinarian. Would my then self be proud of where I am now? So um, to answer that truthfully, I don't think my then self would have been proud of my now self, but things aren't so bad. So I think everything's okay. What is the purpose of life? The meaning of life generally, I think it's to procreate. Also, if you can't be one of those people that help it lead somewhere or like restore what we have and make sure that everything that we have stays for the future generation. Why is happiness a temporary emotion and why do we crave it like a drug? Because happiness is great. I fucking love being happy. Too bad I'm never fucking happy. <laughs> this happiness is a key thing to living a good fulfilling life. Why can pain be satisfying? I don't know. I'm a fucking masochist. Don't ask me. What ever happened to the film of when we drunk the cheap dollar door stuff? I deleted it. Um, that shit's gone. And I was salty. But we can remake that video. Why are pugs tails curly? Bless you. Well. Uh, because their spines are curly. I don't know. Why are pugs tails curly? Okay, I found this on the web for why are pugs tails curly. Tail curling is a phenomenon that is brought about by a distinct shape of the tailbone seen in the pug and a few other small dog breeds. The tailbone is usually wedge shaped and that brings about the natural curl in a pug's tail when held naturally. So it's just genetics. Have I ever had sea urchin? Yes. I love uni. Have I ever had a threesome? As far as I can recall, I have had two threesomes. One of them was with two other girls, and the other one was with one girl and one guy. And both times, it was with the same girl. I used to be in love with this girl, but the thing is, is that she was my friend. Then I remember when she got into a relationship with her girlfriend, I was like, like, what? You know, I was just like, why couldn't it be me? Story of my life, you know? This all happened also when I was like super, super young. And bless my mom for dealing with my fucking crazy ass. But, but after that, I was like, yeah, no, thank you. People get like jealous and like crazy and like all this stuff. I just don't see myself doing that like ever again, unless Anna wants to. Okay, so these are the last ones and I know that these are all from the same person. So I'm just going to do all of them together. Are traps gay? So Urban Dictionary says the term trap is usually towards people that would at first appear to be cute girls, but are actually boys who have more of a feminine side whether being homosexual or not. This links to the meme, traps are gay, where men argue whether being intimate or liking a trap is gay. So, are traps gay? First off, I personally find men that look feminine, I think that they're really attractive. 
like I fucking love a man in makeup you know it's so fucking hot but for the most part they don't like women you know or they say they're gay but maybe they just don't like me which is like the story of my life you know I literally like ask them you know don't ask me would you strip for money if I jacked your purse at gunpoint and offered to pay me with my own money no if a trap was sucking your dick and only then did you notice the trap stick would it be gay to let the trap finish sucking your dick I wish I did, but I do not have a dick. I know it's really hard to tell because I look like a boy. Um, let's just say I did have a dick and a trap was sucking my dick. And then I noticed that he did have a dick. Well, yeah, I would let him finish me off because if that's fucking hot. That's just me. Oh, whoa. So I wanted to ask you guys, have you guys seen A Star is Born, like the new one with Lady Gaga? Was it good or was it fucking good? Like, I... She didn't get- she didn't- she didn't get Best Actress? Stop. Who the fuck won- who won? Olivia Coleman? Lady Gaga should have gotten the fucking award at the fucking Golden Globes because that bitch fucking- She's just fire. Oh.